All right, guys. Well, welcome back to another episode of Spank That Bass TV here with Anthony Thomas. Um, here we're here at uh, Quiet Waters Park here here in South Florida. It's a beautiful day. I'm telling you, like I, I could, I, I don't even need like uh, gloves or to wear a hat. I just wear a hat because I don't like the sun beating down on my head. But uh, today is it's really nice. I'm gonna try this little cove right here because the wind's blowing right into this pocket. I'm um, throwing like a little search bait that's like my confidence search bait. It's basically uh, Smoky Shad Senko by uh, Strike King, Strike King Baits or Strike King, whatever. And um, yeah, you know, we're just going to toss this thing around a little bit. I'm going to hit these uh, these weed lines right here, this overhanging uh, hydrilla, some of this dead hydrilla. And uh, we're going to see what we could yield from this, uh, this body of water here in Florida. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. You should, everyone should be out on, on a day like this. All right, guys. Quick update, I uh, moved further up the uh, the campgrounds and whatnot here at Quiet Waters. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm using a Gary Yamamoto Senko with, uh, with a one out, one eighth bullet weight and a four, four out extra wide gap worm hook. Um, you know, so, I mean, stay tuned for the next couple, you know, next couple minutes and uh, hopefully we pull something out of this place. I thought this place was gonna be fire, but it wasn't. No, well, not so far. You know? Subscriber told me about it. You know, hit me up on Instagram. Said, hey, come to Quiet Waters. And here they are. There's one down there. There's a few over here. They were uh, they were camping. So, I mean, cool people. You know? It's cool how you can reach, you know, a crowd. And uh, not really be anyone on social media. And people just like you because you're, uh, you're, you're, you're weird humor. <laughs> that's what they said. They said that they like my weird humor. So, I mean, that's my niche. I've always been weird. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So. Yep. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Uh, quick update. I'm a little out of breath. It's a lot of walking. Um... Quick update, I spotted a place with a lot of coral that, that kind of gradually goes down. So um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use this square bill right here. This uh, BDs, it's a uh, sexy shad. I'm not exactly sure the size or weight, but uh, yeah, I know. Why did I go all the way down there? What was up that? Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna be banging that up against, you know, coral and, and you know, under, you know, I see some submerged uh, trees and whatnot. I'm gonna use that to, uh, kind of trigger a reaction strike. I'm not really trying to use any fish attractants or anything like that. It's using them earlier, got a few bites. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean like this is my kind of living, man. You see what's around me? Not a person in sight. This is my thing, man. Stay tuned. Oh man, see what I go through for you guys? Go stepping through treacherous stuff. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, this is nice. This is a yeah, nice. Right here, this over there. Go down there. I'm gonna try to hit this for a little bit. See those all this structure, submerged trees. You have coral. Yeah, you guys, tell, let me know how it goes down there, man. What are you guys throwing? Worms or, or crankbaits? I'm, throw, I'm, I'm throwing. I'm uh, throwing worms. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm throwing this hard body boy ducket, uh, sexy shad. It's a square bill. Um, I mean, it's not much structure around here, and. Uh, I'm just casting along the banks, out in the deeps, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, just keep my fingers crossed, really. I'm just trying to find any kind of structure. Ooh, I just got a hit. And, um, and uh, yeah, so just kind of keeping my fingers crossed and wishing for the best, or hoping for the best, whatever you want to say. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next clip, and that's about it. All right, guys, well, um, today was kind of slow, actually very slow. Um, I had, you know, limited amount of time, usually like when I make a video or go fishing for that fact, I like at least five or more hours to like, you know, to really beat the bank and see what's going on. But uh, in this case, you know, it's a beautiful, still a beautiful day out, just not a beautiful day fishing. You know, that's really what it comes down to. You know, I enjoy being in the outdoors and, you know, just doing my thing, you know, like it's just, it's a good, uh, it's a good getaway, you know, it's just like, I hate being inside the house things of that sort you know so uh stay tuned for the next clip i'm throwing around this uh the strike king the rage toad 
and uh, I'm heading to a point right now where I see some submerged grass and some of those uh, some reeds sticking up out of the water so the sun's about to go down I'm trying to race from here all the way like down that way there's a point right there so stay tuned and uh, let's see what all right guys well it's not the intended species but uh, I think I think we caught a cichlid which is I guess cool I think this is a cichlid if I'm not mistaken I know that these guys flop around so and I don't really like handling them um, so I'm gonna grab them by the belly you know that they flop around Oh man, these hooks are sticky. The ones that came in the Lucky Tackle Box for this month. There we go. All right, we're gonna throw you back, buddy. I think I went over across his bed. I think that's why he hit me. Put him right back on his bed. Yeah, so let me wash my hands real quick. And uh, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool All right, guys, well, I uh, kind of said screw that, uh, screw the point. And I'm um, casting right over here. I'm seeing a lot of breaks and I actually tossed my toad and I got a hit and um, I got a decent hit I see him he jumped up out of the water for this thing which is uh, it's telling me that they're really in like a feeding mood and uh, just from personal experience you know I mean you jump out of the water for something must mean you really want it so anyway um, this is the good spot this is basically where I started off before but what I started off was with uh, I think it was a strike king um, what was it a strike king strike king smoky shad it was a stick bait with uh, with the bullet weight, I think it's a one eighth ounce bullet weight, just something for a little bit of casting. And um, I mean, I know I'm using a casting rod for Sankos. Like, not a lot of people do that, or if a lot of people do that, I mean, disregard that whole sentence. But um, we're here right now. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful out. Can you check this out? This is something. This this is just amazing. If Florida's weather was like this year round, oh man. We would have a lot of a lot more people living here. A lot of people don't live here because it's really hot. And the waters are super clear. Um, it's just an overall good day. You know, I'm really in, you know really enjoying today. All right, so there's a bass right here that like just hit my hit my frog about six times in a row. I'm I'm just gonna let him take it and I'm gonna rail him. I don't care what size it is. He's coming in. We gotta at least have something for today. Gotta at least have something. As you guys see, it's getting darker with each clip. And uh, as it gets darker, that's the time to really go home, unfortunately. You know, I got work tomorrow. My, uh, my lady's got work tomorrow, all that stuff, you know. She's not too happy that I'm out here anyway, so. Damn mosquitoes! Woo! What the hell is that? Will it run? Yep, it's gone. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're wrapping up today's day. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too eventful. I uh, caught one. One was off camera, and um, this video should be out within the next one or two days, uh, depending on the whole workload and everything like that. Um, right now I'm using a flashlight, which is like blinding me. There we go, it's a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Spank That Bass TV. Peace out.